What's up YouTube, Mom Diggity here, and today we we're going to be looking at one of my games yesterday, playing Blue Purple Kaido against Rebecca. So we're going to start off here with just who's who going first, getting our 10 drop Kaido in the hand. He's just going to play Kaiser Coliseum, pass to us. We're gonna do our turn. There's not really much we can do with the three job, but we'd rather just hold a 2k counter. So we're just swing for seven and then play a who's who and pick up something else. I think we get our Onigashiwa here. And I'm just reading the cards because I haven't really played against Rebecca that much. Yeah, we just go ahead and pick up Onigashiwa. He's gonna play a Luigi, and he doesn't have any trash, so he can't return or pop from our back to the deck. But it is about to go down the ring. And then right here, I am So I think here we're just gonna go ahead and drop queen. So we ramp first with Onigashima and then we use queen to return it on, grab two. This is a really tough decision because there's a bunch of 2Ks do I want to pitch, do I want to pitch one of our Vins? But we just go ahead and pitch a 2K. Because the extra egg is going to be valuable later in case we want to discard something from his hand. And it's a 2k. And we're just swing 7 to Luchi. Trying, if he blocks with Borsalino, we'll get rid of that. Or we'll make him counter out. But he decides to just block with his generic little blocker. And right now here, I don't know what I'm doing. So he's going to go ahead and play Kairos. And Kairos is a very annoying card to deal with because he can just rest his Coliseum or his Rebecca to prevent it from being destroyed. So basically you have to attack it three times in order to get it off the field. And he's to play Sabo here to protect from the 10 drop Kaido play. Which I think I play around it this time. And sorry about the Spotify thing. I didn't realize the installer opened on the main screen. So he protects all his guys from Sabo. And I remember about it this time. So I can't 10 drop Kaido him. So I think here I just play the other 10 drop Kaido to get us four more cards in hand. Because he is at three or less life. 
That's exactly what we do. And then we're just going to go ahead and swing five at Rebecca. I believe he just blocks a Borsalino here. But I mean, our hand size is looking really good. We're at 10 cards in hand. Two 10 drop Kaidos in hand, kid. So yep, there he goes, just blocks a Borsalino and then we just go ahead and pass. He's to go ahead and play seven drop Luffy. And he's got a pretty scary board right now. It's pretty full. So I'm just thinking next turn, we're just going to go ahead and 10 drop Kaido. Even though we have a 10 drop Kaido already on the board, we're just to play purple Kaido and try and clear out everything. Of course, it won't clear out the Borsalino or the Kairos because Borsalino can't be KO'd. And the Kairos will just rest his Coliseum. So I probably should have swung... I think I should have swung with Queen first next turn. I'm not sure if I do or not. Or I might use it this turn as a blocker just because I know I'm going to get rid of it next turn. So he's going to go ahead and swing six with Kairos. I'm pretty sure we just counter out. Yep, counter out. And then he just passes, which I thought was weird. He could have swung with Luchi or Sabo. I probably would have done that to add some pressure, make me use the queen. But I'm pretty sure here we misplayed because we should have swung with Big Ten drop Kaido first. And we definitely should have swung with Queen first. So that's a big misplay on my part because that's just two free attacks that we could have used to cause pressure. And actually maybe even cause them to block with his Borsalino to get it off the board or the Sabo. So I think in my head I was just rushing, trying to clear board, but looking back I definitely should have attacked. And then here, just attacking into the Kairos, I should have swung a leader. I mean it doesn't matter because either way he's probably going to block, but there's a chance where he doesn't. And even if I swung a Kairos there, he just could have rested Rebecca to prevent the destruction. So he's going to go ahead and drop another Borsalini here. <laughs> And swing seven with Kairos, and I'm pretty sure we just take it. And then he's gonna go ahead and play Rebecca. Another blocker on the board. And right now I'm just organizing my hand. Yep, easy to go ahead and swing seven with Kairos here. I'm pretty sure we just take this. And then we get a Gatling, and then we're debating if we want to use the ramp. We decide to use the ramp. Because the faster we can cycle back up, the better. So now our turn. We got eight Dawn with the drop kid, ramp with Onigashima. And then I'm pretty sure it's a swing with Kaido to make him block, get something off the board. And I think I realize now I just need to start swinging at leader because swinging at Kairos does me no good. And just try and make him use all his blockers. I will say that we are not even at the biggest misplay of this whole video yet. So he's to drop another 7 drop Luffy. And I mean, I'm just staring down this board and I'm just like... Dang. He's going to go ahead and I'm pretty sure to swing at Kid here. And I'm like, I'm just going to counter out of this and protect Kid. Because now we can just swing at his Luffy next turn. And keeping a blocker on the board is just great. Especially with Kid. So all of our Dawn minus effects, we can just get the free Dawn back. He's going to go ahead and just swing six here with Cairo. So I'm pretty sure we just drop another 2k counter. Oh no, here we just dropped double 1k because I wanted to keep X Drake because his hand was looking kind of big. 
Now we're at 10 Dawn. I'm debating here. I'm pretty sure we just go Kid and Queen. But we're going to swing at Luffy first. See if we can get something off the board. And he really debates this a while if he wants to let this Luffy go, if he wants to block. He decides to block with a Borsalino, get it off the board. That's good for us. And I'm saying, I'm pretty sure we're still wall up here. So we're the drop queen. And then I'm pretty sure we're just a drop kid right after. Oh no. Okay, I think we're just to go after this Luffy. I'm trying to get him to bait out another Borsalino. Because... I think getting the pressure off the board is better. And we already had two blockers. I'm pretty sure that's why I did this play. But he uses an event counter to counter out. But he doesn't have uh, 15 or more trash. So the secondary effect doesn't even matter. And we don't have anything in the four cost or less. So I'm keeping two Dawn up just in case I want to use Blast Breath. And I will say this, Rebecca, but Rebecca deck seems pretty interesting how you can keep looping blockers. So he's to play down another Rebecca. He's to get a Borsalino back from Trash. And he's just to drop down another Kairos. So I don't know why he used the effect to KO something on my side or because there's nothing that was one or less but I guess I just want to trash a card from deck to get um, his trash built up and he's going and swing 10 at kid here and I'm like alright you can have him I have another one in my hand And this is a swing eight at Kaido. We could double 2k out of it. Or, oh yeah, we just blast breath. Get the nine counter out. So we're still holding a good position here. I think we're going to go ahead and cycle queen and kid. Yep. And double Onigashi on a draw. I was like, oh my god. So now I'm debating what I want to swing at. We attach just because we know Borsalino's a 6k blocker, so if you wanted to block with it, we'd make sure that the Borsalino would get destroyed. And that's exactly what happens, and then he counters out. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I was like, I'll just swing the queen because, uh, we just need to clear off his blockers. And then he drops a Sabo, and this is where the biggest misplay is coming. Because I played around the Sabo earlier, waiting to clear board with the Kaido. 
but in this moment I just don't know what I was thinking. I think I just had a major brain lapse. But he needs to go ahead and swing a queen. I counter out. Which that was a misplay in itself. I was like a 10 drop Kaido. He's a swing with Luffy, a kid. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't know. Do we, I was like, don't let me counter out. So watching this gameplay back is definitely a great way to learn. Because I'm seeing a lot of different things that I should have done differently. And the ending of this game is still crazy. So he's a swing with Kairos here. I let Queen go. And then he passes. And now I don't know why in my head I was like, oh, this is a great play. I'm just going to swing at Kairos, make him rest. Swing at Kairos, make him rest. And then 10 drop Kaido and clear everything. And he'll just be left with a Borsalino. But I was like, that's fine. But I'm just, I just don't understand why I couldn't read the dang Sabo text over all the cards, even though I played around it earlier in the same game. I mean, this game did last a while, as you can see, it's already Gen 10. So I'm really debating this. And I still went for the play. I should have just swung. Well, I should have swung all three at a Kairos and try and get it off the board. Or just swung at face. I just don't... <laughs> I did this, and then he's like, saw it coming. And I'm like, oh my god, I, I just... I'm dumb. That was the worst play probably in my career. And I'm like, alright, GG. See, I recognize it myself. <laughs> but I'm like, I still got three life. We'll play it out. And I'm like, well, this is probably GG, but I'll just still play it out because I'm at three life. Let's see what happens. And I'm pretty sure, yep, he just blocks a Borsalino. And then I'm staring down this huge board. And I'm like, but I still got a lot of counter powder in my hand. I still got two X Drakes and a Blast Breath. But like I said, this deck is interesting. And he's just stacking up Luffy here. And I don't know why. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to kill Kaido. I remember that, yeah. So I just double counter out. And then you start swinging a leader. It's like, yep, we'll take it. And then I'm like, do we want to use the trigger? And he says nothing. I was like, yeah, I do. Because I can just bottom deck a Kyro to Kairos. Get rid of it. So that's one less pesky attacker I have to deal with. And then he's a swing of Borsalino. I'm like, sure, I'll take it. I'm like, all right, now we got a blocker. Now we ramp. We play Kid. Leave one Dawn up for Blast Breath. And just... Start trying to take out his board with Kaido. Yeah, he blocks with Sabo. And then we're like, alright, I'm going to make you counter out. Get a card out of your hand. And he's like, he just lets his Borsalino go. I'm not sure if that was the right decision. But I think in his defense, he thought he had it. Because you guys will see shortly this card right here. Giving his Luffy the double attack and 6k. He goes all in. And I'm like, I could block, but I'm just a take. And then we both thought, well, I didn't really even realize at the time, but he did. He thought double attack into the game, which I didn't know that it did either. But then he's a swing at everything. And I'm just like, okay, we're just going to block. Because I don't want to waste double Breath with the Queen. 
because she can cycle a card, get us another card in hand. So I'm like, okay, I'll just block a kid. We don't really need him right now. And then we go back to our turn. And we could tend to try to, but I'm like, no, we got to have a blocker on board. And we draw two cards with counter, which is great. So we're just going to go ahead and trash Onigashima here. And then we're going to start trying to clear board. Get rid of the Luffy, because I can deal with two attacks. I felt confident with the amount of counter power I had in my hand. Ramp up with Onigashima. And there was the swing at lead, try and get cards out of his hand. And see right there, he said he thought a double attack into the game. And I go, I didn't really even know that either. He's to go ahead and just try and swing with everything with Luffy again. And I'm like, swinging at Queen. I guess he's trying to clear the blocker out, but I was like, okay. I was gonna use it to protect life anyway. But now he just does a simple 5k swing with Cairo so we can just counter out. And now I'm like, okay. We don't have any blockers here. We just gotta go for it. So I'm like, I can't pop anything. Or, I guess I do try and pop and make him rest. And then we swing with 12,000 Kaido. Swing with 10k with other Kaido. And he just concedes. And let's see, looking, looking at his hand. He didn't have enough counter power to get out. And that was the craziest, probably, Rebecca game we've ever played. Because that game was 13 turns long. But yeah, that is game one with this deck. Next, we'll be commentating a match that we played against Blueback Sakazuki. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really helps out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to, to subscribe for more One Piece content coming soon. And until next time, you two, we'll see you later.